Crystal and welcome back to my kitchen. I have been experimenting with my smokers so I'm coming out with a couple of new videos for you and one of the things I'm uh, working on uh, this evening is some smoked fish. So you know when you run the smoker it doesn't matter if it's full or partially full you have to use the same amount of pellets you have to run it the same amount of time. So I try to fill it up. My husband was invited to go tuna fishing with our really good friend. So he went out tuna fishing with them yesterday. They caught a couple of really big yellowfin tuna and he brought home quite a few fillets. Uh, we have plenty to have uh, fresh tuna, grilled tuna. I froze some of it. He's sharing some with his parents. And I asked him if I could have a few pieces uh, to smoke in the smoker. So. Um, he said yes, which is great, and I've also got the tuna belly, which I understand is really good in the smoker. Now I'm going to prep the tuna, and I found this recipe on another YouTuber's uh, site, and he's a, he loves the fish, um, and he's out in California, and I thought, I, I really have to try his uh, smoked tuna recipe, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit, because his recipe is cooking at... Um, a little bit higher temperature for a shorter amount of time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow his recipe for the brine and then I'm gonna cook it uh, low and slow. So let's start with the tuna. So first I need to prep it. Um, I have these big chunks. <laughs> Plus I have uh, the tuna belly. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take these big chunks out. I mean, look at this gorgeous yellowfin tuna, oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna slice it into steaks about an inch and a half wide. And then, that, then it'll be just right uh, for the smoker. Look at that, don't they look great? And then plus I have the tuna belly. Here's how we're gonna do the brine for the tuna. You need three pounds of brown sugar. We need six tablespoons of kosher salt. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, don't use your table salt. Make sure you get the right salt. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons of garlic powder. Not garlic salt, garlic powder. So I'm just gonna do two of those. One, and it's okay if they're uh, heaping. Okay, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of onion powder. Again, not onion salt, just onion powder. Okay, one of those, two of those. Okay, and then Remember I told you um, you can add some, um, some chilies? So I had two Thai um, chilies from my garden and I just um, chopped them up. I think I'll use about half because I like things nice and spicy, but I don't want to overwhelm my husband. Okay, so we have that and then we just stir it up. Okay, so make sure you stir this up really good. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put, um, some of this mixture in the bottom of this bowl, just enough to cover the bottom of the bowl. So it's already all mixed up, so I'm just scooping it in. I'm kind of having second thoughts about whether or not I should have used all those chilies. <laughs> Hate to leave them behind. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start taking the fish and layering it um, in the mixture, okay? Just like this, okay? So I've got the mixture on bottom, then a layer of fish. Now, add another layer of the mixture. Yeah. Okay. Just rub it around. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna layer the fish. So you start with the uh, your brine mixture, then you start adding the fish on top, and in between the layers of fish, you add a layer of the brine. Okay, cover them up again. Oh, I hope they 
invite my husband to go tuna fishing again because this is just such a treat. Such a treat to have this fresh tuna. Now I have to admit, our friends, they went tuna fishing um, already a few times this season and they've shared some of their tuna with us and it's been it's been wonderful. We've been um, grilling it and um, you know I grilled some vegetables to go with it and we've just been loving it. Um, but this time, uh, this time they invited him out and he got, he just had a blast catching that fish. Okay. Okay. So the tuna is all set to go. The last step is to have a layer of your brown sugar brine mixture on top and then cover it with plastic wrap. And I'm going to put it in the fridge to brine overnight. So now take the fish out of the brine and put it on these racks to dry for about four hours until it feels tacky to the touch. Then we're going to smoke it for seven to eight hours at 225 degrees. Check it a couple of times during that time to make sure it's not drying out too much. Welcome back. I wish you could be here in the kitchen with me to smell how wonderful this fish is. It's been in the smoker for almost eight hours. So check out how the tuna turned out. It's just perfect. About eight hours at 225 degrees. To tear off one little tiny piece of the tuna, just to try that. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. I think my husband's gonna, he's gonna love it. So thank you so much. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And in case you didn't realize it, on all my videos except the original sourdough pizza crust videos, I've gone back and added the full written description of the recipe with the instructions in the description of the videos. And I'll get to the sourdough pizza crust recipe soon um, to add that information for you. Have a good evening, and I hope you're going to start doing some smoking yourself. Wish you could be here to enjoy this with us. Bye.